Hey guys, how are you? A new lesson for this week. We're gonna, we looked at Raphael, the first Renaissance artist that we looked at. Second one, we're gonna look at, died the same year as Raphael, I believe, 1519. Leonardo da Vinci, okay. Leonardo, I believe, was 63 when he died, something like that. Okay, uh, Raphael was much younger in his 30s. We're gonna look at his famous painting, The Last Supper, which is over here. Um, couple things about it that I, I want to look at is the lines. The person in the middle, in this painting, it happens to be Jesus. But what's cool about it, why you stare at Jesus is, because, just like in the Mona Lisa, the horizon line, that means the ground, goes right through his eyes. The ground and the sky. And every line, these are the paintings hanging on the wall, goes to his eyes. Look, here's the ceiling. It goes to his eyes. The ceiling meets at his eyes. So there's a vanishing point behind Jesus's eyes. And if you look up here for a minute, I just have a drawing of it that I did. Um, we're gonna put the vanishing point right in the center. This is the back wall and a table in front. Okay, now the trick is, watch this. You draw your head here like an oval. We're gonna put, and then here's the eyes. And this makes the viewer, makes everybody just stare at the center of your picture. It's really pretty amazing. Okay, and you put the ground here, like here's hills, and they go right through the eyes. And look at that, how you can't help but stare at the person's face. It's really kind of amazing. So ready? Here we go. I'm gonna show you over here how to do this. Okay, and usually I use a Sharpie, but in this one, we're gonna have to race a little bit. And I know you guys have paper at home and a pencil, and all you need is a straight edge. You don't even need a ruler like with, so this could be the edge of a book if you don't have a ruler, but you need to go diagonally to make an X from corner to corner on your paper. It's the most important step here, okay? I'm gonna do it so I can see what I'm doing. It's also a good way to find the center of a piece of paper if you ever need to. All right, so there's my X. Now, if you want to know something cool, how to make a room, what we're going to do is we're going to pick a line down here at the bottom. I don't even care how long it is, so it could just be a straight edge. Make sure I'm doing it straight. I'm going to go from the X to X. That's the floor. Now I'm going to go straight up. It's important to keep it straight up, parallel to the edge of your paper. Okay. Parallel to the edge of my paper. Okay, and these should line up. Okay, so if, real quick with your eyes, if you can think, you have a ceiling, a floor, and two walls that seem to go back in space. Okay, so now what's really cool is if you have some overlapping, like I say all the time, and you can just trace your ruler. Watch this. I'm going to put a table down here. Okay, actually, I'm going to make my table... I'm gonna make it even easier for you than I've been doing with a lot of my students. Oh, it won't work on this. Never mind. I'm gonna make my table bigger than the back wall. You see that? I made it about, let's make it say one inch if you have a ruler. One inch bigger than the back wall and one inch wider than the back wall. So see, I went from six to seven. Okay, now I wanna overlap the floor. So I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna make it about inch and a half high. Inch and a half, inch and a half. But again, if you don't have a ruler, straight edge is fine. You can just kind of guesstimate this, okay? So this is the front of the table. How the heck do you make the top with the perspective? It has to go through the dot. So watch what I'm gonna do. You might remember this when we did a perspective house. So you gotta go from the corner of the table through the dot. And you just make a little bit of a line. All right. And then I'm going to go through the dot. Same thing again to this corner of the table. And you make a line. Okay. Now I'm just going to connect those two dots. Make sure I'm straight here. Yeah, there we go.
And I know what you're thinking, what the heck are you doing, Mr. Rose? So I'm gonna erase a few things here so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, well, you can't see this, this is the top of the table, and you wouldn't be able to see this anymore. Okay, you can't see through a table, right? So we don't need these anymore. So I'm just lightly erasing it. Remember, I'm gonna ask you to color this. So you don't need to erase to make a hole in the paper, okay? We're just lightly erasing that stuff. So maybe now you can see that there's a table there, okay? And what's kind of cool is, you put a little table leg here and it'll really start to look magic. Because that's like the tablecloth, really, hanging down. Okay, now watch, here comes the cool part. We're gonna draw an oval. Now your eyeballs are actually in the center of your face, believe it or not. It might not seem like it, but that's where your eyes are, okay? And then if you really wanna know something cool, halfway between your eyes and your chin is where your nose ends. And then halfway between your nose and your chin is where your mouth goes, okay? So watch this. I'm gonna have a little fun with this one. I'm gonna give him Mona Lisa eyes looking sideways. Okay, makes the person look suspicious. I like to make the shoulders go out to here. Here's another trick Leonardo did. Follow that line with your arms, and here's your hand, overlapping the table. That also makes it look really 3D. See how I'm following that line down? Okay, okay, so there you have all this. The arm, you know. You can make this any person you want. I don't care, I just want one person in your thing. But here come, here's gonna come some magic. About up here, doesn't matter where, we're gonna go from the X to the X. I'm gonna make a line, and I'm gonna come straight down, all the way down to the tabletop. All the way down to the tabletop. So that the person is surrounded by a giant window to the outside world. Then you do that again, but smaller, because we already have the angle of the inside of the window. See that, you get that nice angle there. I'm gonna go straight across. And now I'm gonna go straight down. It's really important to keep your lines vertical. That means up and down. All right, so now check this out. I can do a little more erasing. That wouldn't be there. You wouldn't see this. We kinda don't need this anymore on the person's face. Okay, don't need that. I want to show you something cool, right? So here's my hills outside, right even with the eyeballs. And look at that. I think that's a pretty cool drawing. It shows you like how to make people focus on the center of your drawing. Now, if you want to make it to be like Jesus, you can, but I'm just drawing some kind of anime character with some spiky hair. Maybe this is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh or something, Dragon Ball Z. Okay, could have a... Uh, a modern suit on, why not? Do the person however you like. Here's a suit and tie. Like he's a businessman, okay? And total extra credit here. I probably shouldn't do this in this video, but I'm gonna go for it. Watch this. If you do a line, straight up and down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come off of that, straight up and down. I'm gonna get a window here, watch this. You gotta use your vanishing point to make the bottom of the window. A lot of you guys are gonna cheat and not use that vanishing point, I know. But look how my window comes out. I'm on the vanishing point. That's this dot between the eyes to make the top of the window. All right, look at that. Now, you would see top window and the side of the window. All right, be something like that. All right, so then you would have a window even, and you could do a window on the other side. I'm gonna end this video here. I'll make a second video where I color that in for you guys. Okay, so this is Drawing the Last Supper with Perspective.